Hi everyone, it is good to see you again. Today, my video is to share with you if you want to invest, what are the choices available to you? What are the investment products in the market? What are the features and characteristics of these products? And how to start investing? My friend asked me, what is REIT? How to invest in REITs? Can I invest in real estate properties via REITs? First is the disclaimer. The content of this video is intended to be used and must be used for informational purposes only. It is very important to do your own analysis before making any investment based on your personal circumstances. You should take independent research and verify any information before making an investment decision. Real Estate Investment Trust REIT is a unique form of investment designed to make money for you through the property market. A REIT operates by pulling the money of many investors together, creating a single investment fund. It then goes on to buy, develop, manage and sell real estate markets to generate income. To put it simply, it is basically a collective investment vehicle to gather funds and then to buy better investment opportunities in properties. They will then offer common shares to the public and REITs stocks are like any other stocks that represents ownership in an operating business. This means you buy REITs just like you buy KLCI shares or KLCI counters. REITs enable you to invest in the lucrative real estate market without the need to directly purchase the properties in order to own the properties. You also do not need to actively manage the properties. There are numerous shopping malls in Malaysia are owned by Real Estate Investment Trust. If you do invest in KLCI REITs counters, chances are you have been inside a REIT property without even knowing it. Our Malaysian REIT allows investors to enjoy the benefits of a lucrative asset class such as real estate without the full financial exposure of a wholly owned property. What's more, Bank Negara has increased two rounds of mortgage interest rates recently. Higher mortgage interest rates also mean higher loan repayment amount that you need to pay every month. In short, REIT is listed on Bursa Malaysia, making it easily available and a secure option for many Malaysian investors. REITs offer an affordable avenue to property ownership as they cost just a fraction of the price of a direct real estate investment. Buying the entire property will surely require huge capital outlay. Since they are grouped together in the investment funds, they are also traded far more easily than the property. Unlike buying a real estate property, there is no on-site viewing of physical properties, no unhealthy bargaining of price, and no selling tactics involved. It is just the case of a single market transaction. It is like you buy and sell KLCI shares on Bursa Malaysia. Unlike a single property, these kinds of trusts also offer the benefits of a diversified portfolio. You are not tied up in one property, but instead have your investment distributed across several different properties. Supporters argue that this kind of diversified portfolio is likely to mean less risk as compared to a single investment type. Champions of REIT investment also favour the reliable income stream they tend to give with the steady money inflow often provided by tenants. While REITs do earn cash from buying and also selling of properties, rent is generally the primary source of profits for these funds. All this comes with the benefits of a professional asset manager who deals with the day-to-day -day operation and management while hopefully steering the property to a sustainable return. Of course, there are no guarantees in the world of investment, but REITs are largely seen as a favourable, secure and valuable investment to many. To see a good REIT investment, investors should look at the proactiveness of the asset manager to introduce measures aimed at creating higher value and income stream for the property portfolio. Having said all the benefits, what are the risks involved with REITs? There are no guarantee in the world of investing. As we have mentioned, REITs are heavily based on property rental income. If large companies are struggling to pay rent, especially during the pandemic, that may impact the returns. No matter what, 
you need to understand the risk before jumping in head first to invest. If the particular risk counter or shares that you have does not generate enough income, then you will not enjoy these healthy returns that the supporters promote. It is also important to know that unlike direct property purchase, you have no control over the sale or purchase and even the rental decision of a REITs fund. All decisions are made by the professional asset manager managing the fund. You are merely an investor along for the right who is to trust the asset manager with your money to make the right and good decisions on the entire funds on your behalf. Since it is listed on Bursa Malaysia, you can track the performance. It's a good way to understand how well or how bad some REITs may be performing. Next, probably you want to know how could you go into REITs. You don't have to be part of some secret investment club to invest in REITs. There are currently 18 real estate investment trusts listed on the Bursa Malaysia. These listed REITs can be bought and sold just like shares with clear reporting and performance tracker to access. You just need a CDS account or a stockbroker to purchase REITs. Malaysia also boasts several unlisted REITs though, which are somewhat more complicated for the average Malaysian to become involved in. These are classified as unit trusts or mutual funds and can be bought or sold through authorized agents or a registered unit trust management company. What are the available REITs in Malaysia? All REITs are related to property, but they don't all cover the same property type and structure. These generally operate in some core categories of real estate. So please do remember that these investment vehicles can earn profits through buying and selling property, but primarily generate returns through rental. You can earn the rental income by way of dividend declared by these REIT counters. The frequency of the dividend can be quarterly, half yearly or annually. The REIT funds listed in Malaysia today are not exclusive to one sector or industry. Some do operate in multiple sectors or industries. However, most tend to concentrate their funds on just one or two focus areas for investment. They are divided into eight primary areas of operations, which are retail, hotels, industrial, office, healthcare, warehouse, car parks, and residential. All right, I will stop here today. Hopefully my sharing has helped to increase your understanding on real estate investment trust. Please help to subscribe to my channel, like and share my videos with your friends. Your subscribe, your like and your share are the motivating factors for me to produce more and quality video to share. And please don't forget to click the little bell so that you are notified of any new videos that I have. Thank you for watching today. See you next time. Bye-bye.